Hello, this is Matthew with Trophy Ridge. Today, I'll be showing you the steps to setting up your Digital React site. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you get your Digital React site out of its package is to charge it for at least eight hours. The site does come with a six volt USB charging cord. And once it is charged, it can run for a continuous 48 hours. Also included are site tapes as backup. While the site is charging, we do recommend that you do read the manual, watch this video a few times to get familiar with the buttons and the steps. Once you're comfortable with it, but before you mount this onto your bow, we do also recommend that you play with the site, turn it on, power it on, follow this video along, and fake program the site before mounting it on your bow. Let's get into setting your Digital React 1 pin yardage setup. The first step is to roll the site to the top using the main adjustment wheel. With your site off, sight in your pin using the toolless micro adjust windage and elevation knobs at 20 yards. Once you are on target, hit the bottom power button to power on the unit. You will see a number or you will see REA. If you see a number, press and hold the mode button until it starts flashing release and you will see REA. We want to initiate the React technology, so we hit select. You will now see first on the screen. We want to set this, so hit the select button for first and you will see 20 yards flashing on the screen. We want to set this as our first pin, so press and hold the select button until the number stops flashing, release, pause, and you will now see first, you have set your 20 yard pin location. Setting your second pin, move back to 30 yards and press the mode button to get the second. We want to start setting this, so hit select and the screen will turn purple. You will now use the main adjustment wheel to get 30 displaying on the screen. Take a few shots with your arrows, and once you're on target, you may have a different number, and that is okay. We will train your sight. If you do have a different number, for instance, 32, what we want to do is press and hold the select button for two flashes. Release, and the screen will turn blue. If you are above 30, you can hit the mode button to get down to 30. If you are below 30, you can press the select button to get to 30. Once you have 30 on the screen, press and hold the select button for two flashes. Pause, the screen will turn gray, and your site is ready to go. But for even better accuracy, we do recommend that you step back to 50 yards, shoot a few arrows again. Once you're on target, you may have a different number displaying other than 50. To train your site, Use adjusting for accuracy yardage setup to train your site. Let's get into adjusting for accuracy with the yardage setup. If you are shooting at 50 yards and your site is requiring a higher dial number to be accurate, for example 54, leave your site wheel at the 50 yard position. While standing at the 50 yard distance, press and hold the mode button until the numbers start flashing. Once they start flashing, release, and you will see REA for React on the screen. Press select, first will appear on the screen. Press the mode button to get to the second pin location. We want to adjust this, so press select and the screen will turn purple. Once here, press and hold the select number again until the numbers start flashing. The screen will turn blue. You can use the select button to increase or the mode button to decrease to get the number to 50. Once at 50, you can press and hold the select button to lock this in. Number stop flashing, release, and the screen will turn gray. 
press and hold the mode button to return to react. Press and hold the mode button again to return to the active mode. We do recommend that you shoot a few arrows to confirm accuracy below 50 yards, at 50 yards, and above 50 yards. Follow the previous steps to make any adjustments. Let's get into setting your Digital React 1 pin speed setup. For setting the site up with this method, you will need to verify your arrow speed using a recently calibrated chronograph. The first step is to roll the site all the way to the top using the main adjustment dial. With the site off, sight in your pin using a tool list micro adjust windage and elevation knobs at 20 yards. Once you're on target, press the bottom power button. You will see REA for react or you'll see a number. If you see a number, you can press the mode button, hold it until the screen turns blue and starts flashing, release, and you will see REA for react. You want to initiate the React technology, so we hit the select button and you will see first. You want to set this, so hit the select button again and you'll see 20 flashing on the screen. You want to set this first pin at 20, so press and hold the select button until it stops flashing, release, pause, and you will see first on your screen. You have now set your 20 yard pin location. Once the first distance is set, you can now enter your arrow speed in feet per second that was measured on the recently calibrated chronograph. Press the mode button twice until you see speed for SPD. Press the select button. You will see numbers in feet per second. You can use the select button to increase or the mode button to decrease. Once you have your arrow speed in, you can press and hold the select button for two flashes, release, and the screen will turn gray. Your site is now ready to use at all distances. Let's get into adjusting for accuracy with the speed setup. If you're shooting at 50 yards, and your site is requiring a higher dial number to be accurate, for example, 54, leave your sight wheel at the 50 yard position, and while standing at the 50 yard distance, press and hold the mode button until the display turns blue. REA will then be displayed on the screen. We want to select it, so press the select button, and first will appear on the screen. Press the mode button twice to get to speed. SPD. We want to adjust this, so press the select button and the arrow speed in feet per second that you inputted will be flashing. If your bow is shooting high, increase your bow speed. If your bow is shooting low, decrease the bow speed. Once you have the number that you want, press and hold the select button to lock it in. Once the number starts flashing, release and pause. Shoot a few arrows to confirm accuracy below 50 yards, at 50 yards, and above 50 yards. If you have to make another adjustment, follow the previous steps. Let's get into settings, change color. Power on the unit with the bottom power button, you will now see a number or you will see REA. If you see REA, Press the mode button until you see SET for settings. If you see a number, press and hold the mode button until it starts flashing. You see a blue screen, release, and you'll see REA. Press the mode button to get to settings. Press the select button to select settings, and you'll see PRC on the screen. Press the mode button one time to go to colors, CLR. Press the select button. The color name will be flashing and you can use the mode and the select buttons to select the color that you want. There are six colors and one off. Once you have it selected, you can lock it in 
by pressing and holding the select button until it stops flashing. It will turn blue and return to CLR. You have now chosen the backlight color and the screen will remain blue until you return to the numbers or active mode. Press and hold the mode button, CLR will flash, release, and you will see settings. You have now set the color that you want. Press and hold the mode button again, settings will flash, release, and the screen will turn back to gray and into active mode. Let's get into settings, change screen brightness. Power on the unit by hitting the bottom power button, you will now see a number or you will see REA. If you see REA, press the mode button and then you will see SET for settings. If you see a number, press and hold the mode button until you see REA. Press the mode button to go to settings. To go into the settings, press the select button and you will see PRC on the screen. Press the mode button twice to go to BRG for brightness. We want to adjust this, so press the select button and the number will, will start flashing on the screen. You can use the mode button and the select button to adjust the brightness that you want. Once you have the brightness you want, lock it in by holding the select button until the number stops flashing. Release, and you will now see BRG on the screen. You have now selected your brightness. You can press and hold the mode button to go back out to settings. Press and hold the mode button again to go back to active mode. Let's get into settings, change units of measure. Power on the unit with the bottom power button. You will now see a number or you will see REA. If you see REA, you can press the mode button to get to SET for settings. If you see a number, you can press and hold the mode button until it starts flashing blue, release, and you will see REA. Press the mode button again to go to settings. To get into settings, press the select button and you will see PRC on the screen. Press the mode button three times to go to units of measure. U and T. Press the select button and at the bottom of the screen you will see yards flashing or meters if you had that selected previously. To toggle between them you can use the select button or the mode button. Once you have the unit measure that you want you can lock it in by pressing and holding the select button. Once it stops flashing release, pause, and you will see U and T on the screen. To back out the settings, press and hold the mode button until it flashes, release, and you will see settings. Press the mode button again until it starts flashing, release, and you will see active mode. Let's get into settings, change profiles. One important note. Once you have chosen a new profile, you must return to the beginning steps of yardage and speed setup to set up the new profile. Allowing you to set different profiles has been included in the site to make the site usable in all hunting seasons or bow setups, allowing you different arrow types and weights. Let's get started in setting this up. Power on the unit with the bottom power button you will now see a number or you will see REA. If you see REA, press the mode button to go to SET for settings. If you see a number, press and hold the mode button until it flashes blue release and you will see REA. Press the mode button to go to settings. Press the select button to go into settings and you will see PRC on the screen. With PRC on the screen, you can press the mode button five times 
to see PRO for profiles on the screen. To select this, press the select button and the profile will start flashing. You can use the mode and the select buttons to toggle between the profiles. Once you have the profile that you want, you can press and hold the select button until it stops flashing, release, pause, and now the screen will say Pro, P-R-O. You have now selected a new profile. Press and hold the mode button until P-R-O flashes and you'll go back out to settings. Press and hold the mode button again until settings starts flashing, release, and you will go back to active mode. Again, important note, once you have chosen the new profile, you must return to the beginning steps of yardage or speed setup to set up the new profile. In choosing a new profile, you must enter the new distances or arrow setup speed.